Hello and welcome to the pirate ship. We're going to set sail again today and our letter for today is the letter H. H is for hat. There's a pirate hat right there. I think Sue is going to definitely want to come along today so let's head back into the classroom. Well, here we are. We're back in our classroom. Will you help me call for Sue? Sue, come out. Our friends are here. Look, Pirate Sue. Today, H is for hats, pirate hats. We're going to make one today for art. But before we do that, we need to get started with our good morning song. Sue, will you help me sing it? Okay, you sing along too if you'd like. Good morning, everybody. Sue, I'm so glad to see you. You can sit down now, though, because we've got to see Fred, too, and give him his food for today. Here you go, Fred. There's some fish food. Well, now that we have fed Fred, let's turn around and let's do our calendar time. I'm going to need your help to pick a pointer. Hmm. Why don't we pick... Oh. How about if we pick the bird? He reminds me of a parrot, parrot on a pirate ship. <laughs> so let's see what today is. The month I know is June, but let's reach in and see how we're gonna count the numbers. Okay, it says today we're going to hop. So if you want to, you can stand and hop or you can hop from your chair. Here we go, you're ready to hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 hops. Today is June 22nd. Can you say that? June 22nd. That's today's date. If you go up to the top, you can see that the day of the week starts with a T and an H. TH together makes the sound so what day is it today? Da, da, da. Thursday. Good job. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. 
there's Thursday and there's Friday And then there's Saturday Days of the week 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 Well, it is time to look outside and see what your weather is like today. So look outside your window. See if you can see the sun shining or the trees blowing. That means it's windy or rain coming down. Maybe it's just a cloudy day. When I do like this, shout out whatever your weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is out today. It is, it is, it is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Weather Bear, I know it is hot today, so you're going to want shorts. And I know you're going to want your sandals. But I also know you want to be a pirate, like Pirate Sue. So we'll put on your black t-shirt and your eye patch. And what is the season, everybody? It's summer. We have a new season. It started yesterday. It's summer. Well, that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for our letter of the day. And today's letter is H. Can you say H? H is for hat. Pirate hats. H is also for happy faces and that's how I'm going to decorate my letter H today. I'm just going to take some markers and I'm just going to make some happy faces all over my H. Lots and lots of happy faces. If you have happy face stickers you could use those. Or you could just draw some. You can make them all the same color if you'd like. Or you can use different colors like me. That's up to you. And there's the little H. So I think I'll just color that. Ta-da! So there is my letter what? Letter H. H. And now that we can recognize it, turn over on the back of this sheet and we'll practice writing it. If you don't have that sheet, just use any paper or use your whiteboard or skywrite like this. Just pretend that you're writing in the sky. Any way you'd like to practice will be fine. To make a big letter H, we're going to make a number one. Right beside it, we're going to make another number one. And then we're going to make a line to connect those right in the middle. So that's the big letter H. And I'll show you again. One, one, across. Can you try to write the big letter H? Just make a one and another number one and then a line across. One one across. I'd love to cheer for you if you made a big letter H. Let me get my pom-pom. Let me see those H's. Good job. Good job, everybody. You're listening and learning and practicing. Well, let's make the little H. Before we do, though, I need you to make one hop. Here we go. Let's do it. One hop. Let's do that one more time. Make one. Well, we need a one and a hop for our little letter H. So let me show you that again. So first I'm gonna make number one and then I'm just gonna hop over. One hop. 
Let me show you again. One. And now I want you to just hop over. One hop. Can you try to make a little letter H? First make one and then just hop over. One hop. And I see your little H. I want to cheer for you. Just sky ride. You want to do this? One hop. That's perfect. Great job, everybody. I have a special sticker for you for your handwriting time. There it comes. Well, now we know what letter H looks like. We know how to write it. So next, we'll practice the sound that it makes. Letter H kind of sounds like you're breathing. Can you try to make that sound? When I run and it's really hot in the summer, I start to breathe really hard and I get really tired. I sound like this. Can you practice that? Pretend that you're running and make that sound. That's the sound that letter H makes. It's almost more like air. H says, as in hat. H says, <laughs> well, we're going to make a hat in just a minute, but right now we need to do something fun for math. In math today, we're going to be adding some jewels, some treasure. Let me read this at the top. It says, ahoy, I'm Pirate Billy. Will you help me count my treasure? It's easy. How many of each picture do you see? Add them up and write the number in the box. Okay, so we're going to start with this first one right here. I see three red jewels, and then I see one over here. What is three plus one? Let's count all the red jewels. One, two, three, four. So this is how you write number four. Let's write it in this box. Mm -hmm, very good, very good. Okay, we're gonna do the next one. Let's add these green jewels right here. There are four on this side and two over here. So what is four plus two? Count all the green jewels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four plus two equals six. Right, number six, it looks like this. Okay, now we're gonna add these gold coins. There are five here and three here. So what is five plus three? Let's count all the gold coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So five plus three equals eight. Eight golden coins. Next, we're going to do five plus four. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, keep going, six, seven, eight, nine, five plus four equals nine. Right, number nine, it's a circle and a line. That makes the number nine. Next, we're going to add eight plus two. Let's count all these coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is one, zero. So write number ten. One, zero. Okay, more red jewels. Let's count. Four plus three equals one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Write number seven. Four plus three equals seven. We're almost done. We have two more. What is six plus four? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six plus four equals ten. That's a one and a zero. One, zero is ten. The last one is five plus five, and you might already know the answer. What is five plus five? Mm-hmm, yeah, but let's count just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five plus five equals ten, so another ten. So write one, zero. Well, you did such a great job counting all this pirate treasure. I'm going to give you an A plus and a smiley face. Okay, well, that was our math for today. And now it's time for music. And for music today, we're doing a song called We Are the Pirates. Like to travel, so grab a knife, a or a hook, and let the tale unravel. Yeah. One, two, three, let's head on out to sea. Come join the team and repeat after me. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho. Salute the Jolly Roger. Salute the Jolly Roger. And off we go! We are the pirates, sail the ocean blue. We are the pirates, will you join our jolly crew? We are the pirates, send your elbows, swing your arms! We are the pirates, yes we are, are, are! Oh, me hearties, that was fun to sing our song together. So man the decks and hold on tight. We'll sail through any weather. Yeah. One, two, three, let's head on out to sea. Come join the team and repeat after me. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Yo, ho, ho. Yo, ho, ho. Salute the Jolly Roger. Salute the Jolly Roger. And off we go. And off we go. We are the pirates. Sail the ocean blue. Will you join our jolly crew? We are the pirates. Bend your elbows, swing your arms. We are the pirates. Yes, we are, are, are. We are the pirates. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Did you see the hats that they were wearing? Well, pirates wear some pretty cool hats, don't they? And we're going to make a hat today for art. So let's head over to the art table and I'll show you how. So here we are at the art table. We're gonna make this pirate hat. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to color this black. Okay, I want to color the whole thing black. And then I'm going to cut it out. Okay, that's the front of the hat. 
Now I'm going to cut this out as well. If you don't want to go around all the little corners and everything, it's okay to leave it like that. That'll be just fine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to glue that right there in the middle. Here, like that. And this will not fit around my head, so I'm going to have to use another piece of paper to make like a headband. So I'm going to see, I, I kind of want it to be the same width, so let me kind of measure about like that. I think it's going to take two, so I'll go ahead and make two. Okay, so all you have to do is just take that hat, the middle part that you just did, and let's glue one strip over here on this side and one on this side. One over here, one over here. Okay, then we're gonna bring the two other ends together and you just really have to measure your head and see how big it needs to be. And then you can secure it with tape or with some more glue once you figure out how big it needs to be to fit around your head. And there you have it, a little pirate's hat. Ta-da, so here's my pirate hat. And now it's time for story time. Our book today is called Pirates Don't Go to Kindergarten. Pirates Don't Go to Kindergarten by Lisa Robinson. On the first day of kindergarten, Emma raided her sea chest. Treasure map? Check. Spyglass? Check. Cutlass? Check. She was ready to set sail. If only Captain Chu, the roughest, toughest, awesomest preschool pirate captain ever, could see her now. After a stormy crossing, Emma finally dropped anchor at school. She scanned her treasure map. Kindergarten ho! But instead of boarding the kindergarten ship, she sailed into preschool. Ahoy, Captain Chu! Emma hollered. Ahoy! Good to see you, Emma, said Miss Chu. But the kindergarten classroom is down the hall. Emma peered through her spyglass. Wrong classroom. Wrong cubbies. Wrong toys. Worst of all, wrong captain. Pirates don't go to kindergarten, said Emma. Ocean's rough today, said Captain Chu. Batten down the hatches, mateys. I'm rowing this sailor to her new ship. Emma, meet Captain Hayes. She's in charge of this spaceship. Welcome. You're just in time for liftoff, said Miss Hayes. Emma leaped onto the gangway and stared through the hatch. Stars? Planets? Rocket ships? It wasn't the high seas. But maybe with a few changes here and there, it could work. But a new captain? No. Arr, Emma growled. Sh you'll never take me alive. Splash. Emma swam back to Captain Chew's ship. Thump, clump. She stomped her peg leg. Scrunch, splat. She dug for double loons in scattered sand. Yo, ho, ho, she sang at the top of her lungs. Pirate Emma. You know the rules, Miss Chu said. No throwing sand and use your inside voice, please. Pirates don't follow the rules. A kindergartner poked her head through a porthole. Miss Hayes needs a hand feeding the guinea pig. Can Emma come? Hi, Daniela, said Miss Chu. Emma, they need your help on the other ship. A guinea pig in need? Aye, aye, Captain. Back in the kindergarten classroom. Daniela gave Emma a tour. She introduced Emma to lots of busy astronauts before taking her to see some special cargo. Say hello to our guinea pig, Betty. Blimey, she's a pirate pig. I'm going to call her Beastly Betty. After she snuggled and fed the pirate pig, Emma inspected the kindergarten spaceship. There was a nature center, but no cat and chew to look at seeds with. An art studio, but no Captain Chu to show her paintings to. A reading nook, 
but no Captain Chu to read books to her. There were even some astronauts doing experiments at a science station, but still no Captain Chu. Pirates don't feed pigs, splash. Emma swam back to Captain Chu's ship. Emma mustered some mates and seized control of the preschool ship. Mutiny! The pirate band sneered and snarled, whooped and hollered, raced up the rigging and climbed to the crow's nest. Then one by one they fell asleep. Hey, pirates don't take naps. I've come to Parley, said Miss Chu. How do I get my ship back? Come with me to kindergarten. But I have to lead this new band of pirates. Then walk the plank. Emma brandished her cutlet, cutlass. Tie her up, mates. It's time to join your new mates, Miss Chu said. Kindergarten does look like fun, but I won't sail with a new captain, said Emma. Shiver me timbers, pig leg Emma. Captain Hayes is the finest captain in the universe. Emma slid closer, but she's not you. I miss you too, Miss Chu hugged Emma. Can pirates visit their old captain and borrow her bandana? Of course. Miss Hayes rode into the room. We're short one crew member for our spaceship. Can you spare someone brave and strong like Emma? Heave ho, shark bait. The astronauts and beastly Betty need me. Emma swam away from Captain Chu's ship. Splash. Open the shuttle hatch. Pirates do go to kindergarten. Space pirate Emma reporting for duty. <laughs> the end. Well, that was a fun story, and what a fun day today. I made a pirate hat, Sue, and all our friends did a great job with H's for hat. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.